Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing my full review of the Microtech Mini Trodon. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So let's get into it. Here we have the Mini Trodon from Microtech. Pretty solid knife. So far, this is my favorite sub two inch auto, um, or I should say sub two inch OTF auto. So out the front auto where the blade is deployed out the front. Of course, my favorite out the side auto would have to be the Calmigo and the close second is the Runt, both by Protec. But of course, this is by Microtech. They specialize in OTF knives and um, most of their knives are also automatics. This knife is solid. This just crushes the UTX-70 that I have. I have the California version of that. This is also sub two inches. So if you live somewhere where there are um, size restrictions, this should be good to go. Keep in mind that this is a double-edged knife. So it is sharp on both sides. You can see Trodon M which I'm assuming stands for mini, and then uh, DE for double-edged, made in the USA. And this blade steel is M390. Usually Microtech, um, they kind of rotate, um, rotate blade steels. They have three or four that they like to use, and uh, M390 is one of them. So they usually use M390 or um, CTS XHP, or 204P, or what was the other one? Or, or some of their knives are in uh, LMAX also. So I feel like the most common um, blade steel I see from Microtech is 204P. Um, that's what my UTX-70 is in, but that's pretty cool that this, that this is in M390, although they are almost identical to each other, uh, 204P and M390. Of course, this blade is coated PVD or DLC, whatever it is, coated on both sides. I got this particular version because it is damn sexy. <laughs> um, and it does come in other versions. There is a single edge. I don't know, do they make a serrated version? But there's a double, they have, they have versions that are not coated, single edge. Uh, I think it's, I think they have a stone wash single edge. So you know, keep an eye out for it. These are not that easy to find. If you look hard enough, you, you can find these, but Microtech only does um, what seems like a few production runs of the mini Trodons a year, so they are not the easiest knife to find. This knife is solid. I mean, this is a great OTF auto. Um, it's small, but that is why I got it. it. Fits in the palm of your hand. There is a glass breaker at the end, I don't get why people hate on the glass breaker. I think that's cool. I mean, if you ever need to break some glass, it's it's there. Um, you know, some people are very critical of that. I think it is cool. If I ever needed it, it is there. Will I ever need it? Probably not, but in, just in case. As far as action goes, just super smooth, easy to deploy. It's not chewing up my thumb. It's a tiny bit awkward just because of how small the knife is. You know, sometimes you kind of get, your thumb kind of slips and it's just, it's a little awkward to handle sometimes, but usually it's very comfortable and smooth, smooth deployment, smooth close. And um, just every once in a while, it's just a little slippery, a little awkward. But as far as the actual um, design goes, you know, I have not handled the giant, I think there's the, the Combat Trodon, which is this giant beast of a knife, the, the really, really large version of this. And then there is the, I think it's just the regular Trodon. Haven't handled either of those, but um, this this would probably be my, my preference. I, I, I tend to like smaller autos, and not just for, you know, um, size restrictions, just... I just don't really want a giant, <laughs> giant auto in my pocket. I don't know. Um, so I prefer something small like this. There is this nice kind of milling slash jimping all over the knife, and you definitely need that. They could even be a little bit more aggressive 
on this side. It's, it's pretty smooth. I wouldn't mind seeing some aggressive jimping just so my hand doesn't slip. My finger can kind of grip on and hold. Um, but yeah, com comfortable milling, comfortable jimping. There are only a few critiques I have of this knife. So let's just get them out of the way. Um, one of them is the Tri-Wing hardware. That's a Microtech thing. You need a special tool, their special, you need to buy their special tool from them in order to disassemble the knife. Am I planning on disassembling an auto OTF? No, but if I ever wanted to, that's kind of a bummer. I have to buy a specialized uh, tool. Another critique is the clip. You guys know I'm not, I'm not into the Microtech clips. Um, they put these clips on almost all their knives. And to me, it's just kind of lazy. Like they just, they did the bent clip and they're like, yep, we've been doing it for years. Let's, let's put it on, let's put it on every knife. I don't know. In pocket, sometimes it doesn't bother me. With, with the um, UTX-70, it didn't bother me as much. For some reason with this guy, maybe because it's a wider knife, I, I don't know exactly, but in and out of pocket, it was just a pain. I mean, the retention is pretty, pretty tight, especially towards the end of the clip and getting it in and out of pocket. Oh, it's just, you know, I had to like hold my pocket with one hand and really kind of almost bend the clip with my finger to get it in my pocket and then pulling it out. It was just, it was too much, too, too, you know, too harder than, harder than it should be. So I feel like, you know, for all the talk about Microtech quality and USA made, they could do something about this just kind of basic bent clip. It seems a little bit, I don't know, lazy to me. They, they could definitely innovate, come up with different clip choices. I don't think they make aftermarket clips for these. Um, if they did, I would definitely look into that. If you guys know of an aftermarket clip, let me know, because I, I need one. Um, this knife is handy, it's comfortable to hold, it's useful, it's, you know, disappears in your pocket. Once it's in, you know, once you have attached it to your pocket and it is in your pocket, it's a comfortable carry, because it's so light, it is made out of aluminum. Um, it's a great knife. It's a great auto um, OTF. Again, this is so far my favorite um, kind of mini auto, mini OTF. If I'm going to go with an out the side, of course, that's going to be coming from ProTech. That will be um, that will be a Calmigo or a Runt. But for out the front knives, this is it. This is the choice. This is the way to go. I have not found a better small. OTF auto. Um, now, my last critique of this knife, the color, which you guys can see, color looks great. This is a super kind of clean, sparkly gray. And my critique is uh, not of the color. It looks great. Don't get me wrong. But they call it titanium gray. And I think the reason they're doing that is so the people buying this knife think they are getting titanium. Now, of course, when I bought this, yeah, I know I know they make all their stuff out of aluminum. They, they don't do titanium. So I knew what I was getting, but I'm sure people have bought this knife. And um, because they read that it is titanium gray in the title, they're going to think that they're getting a titanium knife. So I feel like that's kind of weak on Microtech's part to call it titanium. Um, they could come up with a different name and be better off and not mislead anybody. Overall, this is a solid knife. Um, I am going to do just a quick size comparison. Get this deployed. Uh, I have my uh, Ace Riv, which is actually surprisingly similar in size. And then let's do the, um, what's quickly becoming one of my standards, the Tactile Knife Co. Um, Rockwall. Let's get these measured up. I already know tactile is about three inches on the blade, seven overall. Let's see about the giant mouse, about two and a half on the blade, almost six overall. And then I know this is, I think it's like 1.99 on the blade. Yeah, just under two and about five inches overall. So again, definitely on the small side, but that is why I bought it. It's super handy. 
easy to carry. I really would like them to get a different clip um, or to start using different clips on some of their knives. They, they can do better. They can do better than that. Let's get these out of the way. Get my rock wall out of the way. Um, but overall, this is a, a, a solid knife and this is um, like twice the knife that the UTX-70 is. This thing just blows the UTX-70 out of the water, crushes it in every way, ergos, um, action, looks. You know, this feels like a tank. I mean, it really is built for, for being built, um, constructed uh, out of aluminum. This really feels sturdy. Like if I drop it or I, if I need to hard use this knife, it's gonna hold up, it's gonna be okay. Whereas the UTX-70, eh, little, little flimsy for my tastes. This is a solid OTF, solid auto. Again, not the longest video today, but really good choice if you guys are looking for a mini auto. And uh, of course, Microtech, they do, they do um, you know, crush it when it comes to OTFs. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.